Hello and welcome back to Wall Street Trainings Accounting and Financial Statement Integration Hands-On Exercise and Project. By now, hopefully, you would have already completed the answers and gone through the financial statements, extracted the numbers, input it into page one, calculated the ratios for page two and three, and gone through your own assessment as to which company you would recommend based on the ratios that you arrived at. Remember, folks, don't cheat. Please make sure you have done the answers first, otherwise you're only cheating yourself. With that in mind, let's go ahead now and receivable. First. Take your receivables balance of 400 times 365 divided by 52,935, which was our total revenue amount. 2.8 days, very similar to Walmart. We got to investigate why this 39.3 on target seems to be so odd and so off. Now we'll look at Costco's days payable. Let's take our accounts payable balance. It is 4214 divided times 365 divided by our total COGS number of 46. 347, 33 days to pay our vendors. Not too bad. Target seems to be doing really good with their cash. Cash conversion cycle simply will be our day's inventory balance, 31.6 plus 2.8 minus 33.2. And we clearly see that it takes Costco 1.2 days to convert their goods into cash. Folks, think about that. Walmart is at 13.5 days. Target is at 35 days. And Costco is at a puny 1.2 days. In other words, it only takes Costco 1.2 days to convert all the goods, what they do best, into cash. That is great. So by far here, we will say we will recommend Costco as our company of choice based purely on the liquidity ratios. Now, I did promise you, let's take a look at why Target is going to be at such a high receivable balance. Folks, what is the difference with Costco? Costco has a 39.3 days receivable outstanding versus everybody else at around three days. Well, why is that? What does Target have that Walmart and Costco do not have? They all accept credit cards, but Target has their own credit card subsidiary. They have their own store branded credit card. And because they have their own store branded credit card, they now have a larger accounts receivable balance that Walmart and Costco do not have. Because of the fact that Walmart and Costco do not have their own branded credit card, Target owns that credit card subsidiary, so the entire balance of their receivables on the credit card subsidiary gets consolidated up to the parent company of Target, and therefore, Target has a longer day's receivable collection cycle. But you know what? That's sort of mitigated or offset by their longer day's payable outstanding cycle. So maybe that's okay. But in any case, before you rush to judgment about a particular company's profitability or the numbers, you must investigate and dig deeper. So based on this, we will recommend Target, sorry, we will recommend Costco as the numbers that we will want to use. So let us now go ahead and calculate the rest of these numbers.